Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. How are we doing? Good. Magic Good. Castle, first show of the night. Quick show of hands, who's first time? Oh, wow, a few people, very good. Anyone's last time? <laughs> eh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how the show goes, yeah. <laughs> very nice, what is your name, my dear? Ashley. Ashley, Michael, so nice to meet you. And your name, my dear? Chloe. Chloe, so nice to meet you. I have a question for you. Uh, have you two seen my purse? Oh. Very full. It is. <laughs> it's cute, right? Yeah, I like it. It's Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was. It's missing the, the Gucci part. But it still works, because look, if I open it up just like this, I can reach in, I can take a little red ball out, you see? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and do it again, but a lot of people accuse me of cheating. They say, Mike, I know how you do it. You just hide the ball up your sleeve, right? Mm -hmm. So would you like to see it one more time, yeah. but without sleeves? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay, no sleeves. <laughs> oh, you probably wanted me to put the... Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it that way for you guys. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, one more time. You see the little ball goes inside the bag. You can't see it, but when I take it out, it becomes visible again. That's the way it works. Would you mind to hold out your hand just like this, please? I'm going to go ahead and place the purse right here, nice and high so everyone can see. I'll place the ball away for just a moment, but if you look close, you'll see that there is actually another one inside the purse. What? <laughs> here, I'll do, it. I'll do it again. I'll do it again, just like this. You see there's a few of them inside Whoa. there, right? Would you mind to hold on to this ball for me, please? Sure. And you can get this one, right? You see? Where? You can't see it oh, until I, I take see. it out of the bag, then you can see it. You oh. see? If you don't mind, go ahead and hold on to that one. Okay. This is my best trick. So don't blink. <laughs> this ball goes into this hand over here. This ball goes into this hand. I wiggle my thumbs, believe it or not, the two red balls magically change places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> so this is the magic castle. We're not supposed to reveal how the tricks work, but I'll make an exception for you guys because you seem like a really good group. I'm going to teach you how to do it. See, it's really easy. This ball goes into this hand over here. This ball here, notice I'm not going to give you yours back, right? Yours is going to go over here. Can you close your hand really tight? And yours is going to go right over here. Can you do the same? <laughs> what? Where? Did you drop it? No, did you? All right. <laughs> you didn't see it, did you? No. Do you have it? Yes. You do? Can you open your hand? Oh, you did have it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind to grab that, my dear? It's right yeah, next to your leg yeah. there. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys want to say it one more time? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Can you hold out your hand? I'm going to put them both in your hand just like this. Squeeze really tight. Okay. You have them. Perfect. Okay. Uh, my dear, do you have a good imagination? I have a lovely imagination. Great to hear. I love it. Can you go ahead and reach in here? Take out a little imaginary ball. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little red imaginary ball. That was in my imagination. I'm glad to hear that. Go ahead. Take it out. Hold it up high so everyone can see. Mm -hmm. You guys can see like it? This, there you go. Sorry. Perfect. <laughs> it's okay. It squishes down, right? Okay. Go ahead and toss it in her hand right over here. Freeze. Very slowly and for dramatic effect. One finger at a time. Go ahead and open up your hand. Oh my goodness, three, one, two, and three little red balls. Thank you so much. I would like to show you the most magical thing that I know with the most magical object that I own. This is my wedding ring. You're welcome to examine it, my dear, if you'd like. Oh, I forgot to mention it jumps. <laughs> That's actually my wife's favorite part. You know, I take it off and then it goes right back on. No, but please, go ahead, take a look. Go ahead, have a look at the ring. Make sure uh, that there are no holes. Do you see any holes? Are there any holes there? No. There is one. Oh. Yeah, that one, right? <laughs> and, and my fingers don't leave my hand, is that correct? Oh, that's good. You can pull my finger if you want. Actually, you know what? No. You don't want to <laughs> The reason I ask is because in just a moment, you're going to see this ring pass through each finger one at a time, from the next to the next to the next, just like this. In fact, you'll get it to pop straight through the pinky on three. One, two, three, straight through the finger. And you examine this ring. There were no openings, right? 
Oh, I forgot to mention that ring. Sometimes it does jump. <laughs> Would you mind to hold out your hand for me? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place this here for just a moment, if you don't mind being a little table for me. It reminds me of one of my favorite pieces of magic. It's called the Chinese linking rings. Has anyone ever heard of this? Yeah. It's a classic in magic. Okay. Essentially, the idea is to take one solid ring and get it to pass straight through the other ring, just like this. And that is properly linked on, right? It's not like an illusion or a magnet or anything. Um, yeah. You give it just a little hit like this and it'll come right off. Mm. You might have seen this before. This has been performed for centuries. I wanted to try something just a little bit different. I actually want to take a Chinese ring and use my wedding ring as well. Would you mind to hold up your hand just like this so everyone can see? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and it is properly linked on, yes? Oh, yes. Right? Of course, that ring does come off. It goes back on. In fact, I can get that ring to pass from one ring onto the other one just like this, you see? Would you mind to tug on that ring? Does it feel like it opens at all? No. No? No, you can let go. Thank you. <laughs> that ring comes off. It goes back on. Would you do the same if you don't mind? Please go ahead and give a little tug. In fact, I want you to examine the full side of the ring. Show it around. Make sure that there's no openings or anything like that. I notice you're wearing one as well. Do you mind if I... May I borrow it? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. I'll give it back. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> In just a second, this ring's going to fall off into your hands. Can you hold your hands open just like this? Yeah. Don't drop it because it'll be your fault, not mine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here's the really interesting thing. Thank you so much. Here's the interesting thing it doesn't have to be a ring, it could really be any object. Like this is just a bottle opener, right? You can get it to go straight through the opener like this. In fact, you can get it to go straight through the flat part of the opener and link through to both sides. Wow. Would you mind to hold that ring in your hands just like this with two hands? And bring your hands down to the bottom. Perfect. Oh. You may let go. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and with just a little flick, this ring will pop off as well as this one. You guys want to see it one more time? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll do it one more time, okay? Do it slower. In slow motion? Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, I'll do it step by step so you guys can see. Does this sound good? Here we go. Step one. You see how all three uh, rings are linked together. Step two, you interlace the rings just by giving it a little tap. You get all three rings to be tied together. And then step three, to get the ring to jump from one to the other with just one hand, just like this. You may have a look at this ring, my dear. Can you go ahead and check it out? Are there any soft spots that you can see? No, sir. I'll give you a hint. There is one soft spot. Where? Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, here is the thing. Every time I do this, it's always sort of the same thing, right? It's a ring passing through another ring, or a ring like object, something with a hole in it. I want to try something just a little bit different. Um, sir, do you have a you have a free hand? You can help me, maybe. Perfect. Go ahead and take a look inside this little bag. Can you explain to everyone what that is that you're holding there? It's a ball bearing or a marble. Yeah, it's a solid steel ball bearing. Very good. I'm going to attempt to take a solid steel ball and fuse it with a ring. You can see it all around. In fact, you still have that free hand, my friend. Go ahead and take a look. Is that properly fused on there? Are there any openings or any breaks or anything that you, that you can see? No? You 
Can I get a little breath on that, please? Perfect. You as well, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a trick with the ring and the ball. Now, a lot of people sometimes will ask me, they'll say, Michael, why do you do magic? Michael, why do you do magic? <laughs> How odd of you to ask. The honest truth is, uh, performing magic allows me to relive my childhood, to go back to a time where everything was magic. You know, before we knew how the world works. You can kind of escape reality for just a moment. I would like to take all of you back to my childhood, if you don't mind. Inside this case here is the oldest deck of cards that I own. In fact, this is actually my deck of Pokemon cards. <laughs> Who are my Poke fans here? Do I have anyone? Sure, yeah. Yeah? yeah. What's your name, my friend? Dominic. One more time? Dominic. Dominic, so nice to meet you. Nice Dominic, you have a favorite? Uh, yes. What's your favorite? Blastoise. Blastoise. I don't think I have Blastoise in here. Okay. But it's okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and hand you the cards. Okay. You're welcome to look through the deck, okay. find one that you like, and then remove it from the rest of the deck. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me for just a moment while he's doing that. I'm going to come over here and get into character. Okay, I got it. Okay. Not quite that bad, okay. but still pretty bad. Okay. You're going to go ahead and take this marker, if you don't mind, and you're going to put your name on the face of the card right here. Okay. Yeah. What are you looking? It's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. You go ahead and do it. Right. My name? Yeah, or anything that you'd like. The reason I'm having you mark the card is because there may or may not be duplicates of the card that he chose in here, and I don't want you guys to just think that I'm using more than one of the same card to make the trick work. You got it? Yes. I'll go ahead and take the marker back. And I will go ahead and take the card back. You guys can see it one more time. <laughs> I guess I'm going to find out what everyone's giggling about in just a moment. And, ooh, I almost forgot. Real quick, before I get started, does anyone know why they're called Pokemon? Wait, what? Why they're called Pokemon? Because you got a Pokemon? Kind of, almost. It's because, yeah, Pocket. They're called Pocket Monsters. Oh. Right? So in just a moment, a monster is going to jump from the deck into my pocket. Can you do me a favor and check the pocket here? Make sure that there are no monsters inside. Are we monster free? Yeah. Is the pocket back inside? Yeah. Perfect, OK. Because in just a moment, you're going to see one Pokemon jump from the deck into the pocket. Mm. Nice <laughs> choice. Oh. Funny story, my daughter Brianna, her middle name is Evelyn, so I can call her Evie. <laughs> you guys want to see it again? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it again, but I'll do it in slow motion so you guys can see, okay? Here we go. This is for you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll do it again. One more time. Would you mind to push it all the way in, please? Yeah. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. So this here is the magic castle. You're only supposed to do a certain trick one time. I've already done it twice. Would you like to see it one more time? Yeah. Would you guys like to see it yeah. one more time? Yeah. Here we go. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, I'm not even going to get it. I'm going to let you do it. Can you reach in and take it out of the deck for me, please? Hold it up nice and high so everyone can see. Ladies and gentlemen, Jolt T. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's not that one. Hold on. Sorry. No, that's Ven and Nat. Hold on. No, Tentacool. No, Gloom. No. <laughs> Got to catch them all, right? <laughs> Actually, I think I did. That's 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 the deck. Thank you so much. Uh, my friend, it was Dominic, right? Yes, yes Dominic, I got a quiz for you. Okay. I forgot to tell you there's a test at the end of this. Yeah. Pokemon, what does it stand for again? Pokemon. What does it stand for? <laughs> pocket monsters, very good. And where do pocket monsters like to live? In your pockets. Actually, they like to live inside of the Pokeball. Pokeball. You can see there's a Pokemon inside the ball here. And in fact, it's a very interesting Pokemon. It's one of my favorites. His name, ladies and gentlemen, is Jolteon. That's for you, my friend. You get to keep that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael O'Brien. I hope you had a wonderful time. Please enjoy the rest of your evening here at the world famous Magic Castle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my dear, for helping me.